you know, with a series that's been, you know, 10 years to make it, well, longer than that, but it, certainly from the first film to this one, it's been 10 years. And just the, um, just the outpouring from the fans and just the sense that this is, this is over now. Obviously, we, the, the films will continue to have a life of their own. And, you know, we're still celebrating this one, but uh, just what does this kind of mean, I guess, personally for each of you? Uh, it's uh, kind of bittersweet. It's the end. It felt like a natural end, uh, you know, because Joe wrote seven books. We took eight films to tell the same. It was a singular story. Uh, and so there was no room, really, for another kind of episode to, uh, to be included. And uh, so... Um, it was very sad to finish because it was an exceptionally enjoyable experience actually to get to work with the best material, the, the best talent both in front of and behind the camera, uh, with a studio who are very supportive with enough money to make the film. You know, all these things uh, one just can't take for granted. Uh, and so had there been two more books in the series, I'd been happily, hopefully, still there making them. Uh, but it felt like a natural end and um, uh, I'm very happy with the way the end turned out. And, uh, looking forward to the future. For me, uh, like like DB, DB, DHDY, three Davids. Um, uh, um, it's bittersweet. Um, you know, I for me, it's been fourteen years, and um, it's been uh, such fun and such a privilege to work on this material. And also, a lot of the same people worked on the films from the beginning. So over the course, and we saw young kids grow into young adults. And over the course of that, um, those 10, well, 11, 12 years of making the films, we became a family. And so the sadness, a big part of the sadness is that that family all goes off in different directions and uh, we'll never be together again. At the end of each film, you knew you were coming back, but that is no more, so I'll miss that. Also, as a producer, one of the uh, most fortunate, you know, that you live a life of uncertainty um, and not knowing where the next film's gonna come from. And one of the great privileges of, and good fortunes of Potter is you knew what you are gonna do next, <laughs> but I don't, you know, there's a little more uncertainty now. That being said, um, to have the time and the opportunity for new challenges is, you know, is very, very exciting. And to work on different material to work with, you know, yeah, to have new challenges is, is great. It's very strange to leave a world behind that has been your whole life. I mean, for, I was with it for six and a half years. I mean, David's management of the whole series is extraordinary, I think. You know, eight movies over a decade of extraordinary work. And it's been beautifully coordinated over that period but I was with it for six and a half years and leaving it behind was at one level a huge relief because it was an enormous amount of work and um, it was great to get to the end of it um, but also like these guys it was also very sad to sort of and it's been I've finished work on the last movie about three months ago four months ago and it's been a really odd experience over the last three months realizing that it's not part of my life in the same way anymore and we were joking last night about starting a little sort of group, um, Harry Potter Anonymous, for people who've worked on these movies. And we'll get together every few months and we'll talk. It'll be a group therapy session and we'll share our experiences. But it has been, and I've been traveling recently and we've been to Indonesia and to Thailand and to Italy. And wherever we go around the world, these movies have reached people. And it's extraordinary, and it's uh, in that sense, I don't think this big elephant in the room, which is Harry Potter, which is part of all our lives, will ever quite go away. It'll be there for the rest of our lives, I think. Well, I only was in it for four years, so yeah, this is enough. But I feel, I feel very similar to her. I was unexpected, I, not unexpected, but I repeat, I'm just going to repeat the same things. But it was a huge luxury, one, to be part of it, because the, and the, the, length of time that we all spent together because the average film takes about eight weeks um, so to be on something for so long meant that you could develop proper relationships and then also as an actor it was always nice to know that I had a job you know um, <laughs> and um, so but the yeah 
there was a huge sadness, and there is a certain um, just because of the dis. It's it's always the people. It always comes down to people and missing missing those connections. Uh, but we do. The people do have the films, and um, la di da. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquent as ever. <laughs> uh, I think we have some.